Hey guys, Black is here. I want to tell y'all something I just found out about my, Vol uh, not my Volkswagen, my company, Volvo uh, 2021 VN L760. Check this out. I found out that there is a speed control mechanism on that truck. And I'm not talking about cruise control. Okay. It's, Bay, I don't, I don't know what the hell you want to call it. I guess it's it's the speed control, but your cruise control can be off. And there's a button on the left side of the steering wheel, and it looks like a wheel with two lines on the side of this circle. I guess it's supposed to represent brakes. And it's got something else on it, I don't remember. But anyway, on the steering column, is you have a handle for Jake brake and you have a handle for the windshield wipers on the right side of the steering wheel. The first handle is for the Jake brake. If you put it on auto, which is A, and you push that button, you can, just say like if you're running 55 miles per hour, right? You can set it for like 57 miles per hour, okay? So when you go down the hill, if you let up off the gas, hell, I think you can set it for 55, I think. But anyway, if you just say you you go on 55, you go down a hill, you take your foot off the gas, and it will turn on the Jake brake and keep the damn car, truck at 55 miles, pretty much at 55 miles per hour. If it's a real steep hill and you heavy, it'll overspeed it. My last trip, I was probably the heaviest I've been in a while. I mean, I'm, I was probably towing over. 30,000 pounds or total, probably about 60,000 pounds. I mean, I was pretty damn heavy. And I knew it because it did not like heels at all. But, I mean, it'll pull them, but it wouldn't fly up them like it do when it's not that heavy. But, yeah, I figured that out. Because, you know, before I, whatever reason, I accidentally knocked the J brake in the auto and... You know, it's got a million buttons on the steering wheel and you always hit something whenever you turn the wheel. If you if you don't use the ram, you're gonna hit something. So I've accidentally hit the, the speed control button. Then I go down the hill and all of a sudden the sucker downshift and the RPM will shoot up and the Jake breaker come on. I'm like, what the hell is it then? I look down, the cruise control is off. So I'm like, is this thing possessed? That's when I found out that it's a speed control mechanism next to that cruise control, you know. So even if the cruise control is completely off, you can still set it to control your speed when you go down a hill. Um, I will make a video showing how it worked while I'm in the truck, but, you know, it's kind of like against the law for me to hold electronic stuff and my boss would lose their mind. So I don't want to do it. I just, you just have to take my word for it. I don't know, the next time I'm at work, I'll show you the buttons and all at a standstill. Um, other than that, they this this week I'm supposed to be off and they supposed to take it to Volvo and get them to fix the air conditioning. But I'm gonna tell you something, they gonna have to do something because like, like the other morning it was 78 degrees, which you'll think you didn't really need air conditioning, but you kind of did because it was hot. But it was so cold that I couldn't run. I'm riding on the road, cutting it on and off, cutting it on and off, cutting it on and off, because the damn truck would get too damn cold. But yeah, they're gonna have to do something because um, I started sneezing this well last week, and I sneezed about three times. And I don't sneeze very often. Usually when I sneeze, I'm down. I'm giving. I'm coming coming down with something. Especially when I sneeze and I get a pain in my back, I'm coming down with something. I didn't get a pain, but I did sneeze. So they're going to have to fix something, man. Something's got to be done. But anyway, that's all I want to tell you guys was about the little speed control thing when you go down the hill. And that's all I got to talk about. This is black. Bah.